So it's chilly and yes, we are talking about some rain that's going to be headed our way by the weekend. So we have quite a few changes right now. It's cold and it's dry, but this afternoon will be slightly warmer than yesterday. But this follows a colder morning than yesterday as well. Uh, it's about 19 degrees up into Big Bear. It's 38 in Beaumont. So we have a lot of 30s and 40s out there, but some spots in the 20s as well out into Lancaster. So cold, 28 degrees, 31 out in the Palmdale. We also have a little bit of wind up there, too. So it is feeling quite blustery if you're in some of those spots. We Thanks initially had a wind advisory in sure place. That's like, been canceled subscribe. because these winds, so they're the there. They're just below. not too bad. So it's a little breezy, and it's making things extra uncomfortable. So bundle up as we get into this afternoon. It's still going to be cool for some of those interior spots and then a little more mild elsewhere. If you're at the coast, that offshore push is just not strong enough because we'll have a little bit of a sea breeze that might even cool the beaches off another degree or two compared to yesterday. So it really depends where you are, but we're fighting that weak offshore flow and then that weak sea breeze right at the coastline. So a little mixture of both. Uh, freeze warning in place to about nine o'clock this morning. Uh, these are the temperature clouds starting to move in a little bit of rain ahead of this storm that's going to first make its way into the Pacific Northwest and Northern California for quite a few days before it reaches us. Now, this is going to be quite a rainmaker for areas in Northern California because that's what's really going to be tapping into this atmosphere of river component. By the time it reaches SoCal, that's not really going to be important for us because it's going to be dissipating. So we're not tapping into the atmospheric river as much. But take a look. This is starting on Wednesday for Northern California. And as we head into Thursday, still dumping rain continuously into Friday. And then finally, it starts to break apart right as it reaches Southern California. We might get the tail end of the atmospheric river component of it. But for now, it uh, looks like we kind of get the ends of all of it. Rain will take us into Saturday, Sunday and potentially a little left over into Monday. So uh, Friday should be mostly dry, but we're going to start to see increasing clouds. Temperatures that night will begin to cool off, and then we're going to get even cooler by the weekend. So enjoy a few days, but chilly start, and then the next few afternoons are going to be really nice, maybe even almost warm, mild to warm, mid to upper 70s. Enjoy that, and then we get into a wet weather, cozy weather kind of weekend. It's nice to have some rain in the forecast, so we'll have to add some showers there for Saturday. This for should this. be a rainmaker until Sunday night into Monday. Those temperatures should drop a bit more, so then we could possibly talk about some snow as we get a little closer. Just the afternoons should be a little more comfortable, and then we get that cooler weather there as we head into the weekend as well.